for this video I have a little JVC color TV that was uh, dumped at work for disposal. It's been rained on. I plugged it in once and the screen lit up so I may be able to shoot this one live. What I'm in the process of doing right now is uh, getting ready to cut the implosion band so that it'll uh, burst better when I shoot it with the air cannon. So I'll proceed to finish cutting the implosion band with my grinder and we'll uh, plug this in, try to get it to uh, running at least on a menu or something, and then uh, shoot it. This will probably be another one-shot video. The CRT's implosion band is now cut and uh, levered out of position, so hopefully the CRT will burst well. I'm bringing the air cannon up to pressure. I will be using the 72-inch caliber 812 barrel on the fire extinguisher-based solenoid valve pedestal cannon. This TV was scrapped because, uh, on further investigation, only the on-off switch works on it. You can't change the volume, you can't change channels, and you can't bring up the menu because the buttons are all uh, smashed in. So this is a perfect uh, little TV to use uh, for an air cannon target. I'll put the slug through it at about 400 PSI. When the air cannon is up to pressure, I'll pick up the video again and shoot. One of the air cannons just about at pressure. I'll fire, I think, at 425 PSI with a hard alloy cast lead slug. Let's go shoot. Well, there's some fumes rising from the shattered TV. It looks like it burst nicely. So let's get it unplugged and uh, pick it up and take a better look. Here's a front view of the aftermath. We can see that the CRT is pretty much blown out of there. Uh, the chunks didn't go very far. They basically just flopped down in front of it. Uh, the cleanup will be pretty quick and easy here today. Uh, let's uh, turn this thing around and have a look at the rear of it. Now we can see there's a great big exit hole blasted uh, through the back of this nasty old TV. That worked well. The shot actually severed and expelled the uh, high voltage anode wire to the CRT. However, I fired my round mid-screen so the flyback transformer was spared and I will be able to salvage it. A little garbage got dealt with in today's videos. Flat screen monitor, CRT monitor, and a nasty old toaster. And there'll be uh, plenty more to come in the near future.